Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 44. First, the problem statement. E-commerce company is trying to identify returning active users. So, what is returning active user? A returning active user is a user that has made a second purchase within 7 days of any other of their purchases. Write a SQL query to display the list of user ID of these returning active users. So for this problem statement, this is the input table and this is expected output table. For demonstration purpose, let's uh, try to understand the user ID 128. So user ID 128 has uh, purchased on 4th of March and the next purchase is on 24th of March. If you see the gap, gap is more than 7 days. But if you see the another purchase it has made on 28th of March. So if you see the gap between the previous purchase that is 24th and that the last purchase that is 28th, the gap is only 4 days. That comes within the 7 days and that's why it is present in the output table. Similarly, if you will see uh, user ID 101, it has made purchase on 1st of March and next purchase it has made on 26th of March and the gap is more than 7 days. That's why it is not present in the output table. So this is, is, this is what is required over here. Uh, let's see how we can write a SQL query to get this desired output. Before writing SQL code for this problem, first let's go back to our input table once again. So let me fire this select star from input table that is transactions underscore Amazon. So this is our input table wherein we have the column like ID, user ID, item, created at and revenue. So in order to visualize this data better, let me do order by order by user ID column, user ID. Now let's uh, run this query once again. So this is the sorted data and if you see the user ID 100, it has made total 4 purchases in the March month that is 7th March. 13th March, 18th March and 29th March. Now what we have to do, we have to get all the possible combination of uh, dates for that particular user ID and then we have to find the difference between them. And if any of the combination of the date returns value between 0 and 7, then that, that user can be said to be returning active user. So what I am going to do, I am going to do a self join so for that i am going to use the same table once again by writing inner join inner join transaction underscore amazon and this time i will give alias as b and i'm go going to join on the column a dot user id is equal to b dot user id so let's run this query once again let me, let's see what result it gives so if you see the uh, user id 101 uh, we have uh, for this user id we have all the possible combination of dates so you can see here 26 1 26 26 1 1 1 26 so we have all the combination of dates for that particular user ID. So here if you see uh, for same ID for that particular user ID, if we have the same value for row number 18, if you see uh, it is the same date, right? So it doesn't make any sense. If you see again in uh, uh, row number 19, we have ID 9 and again ID 9 and we have the same date so it does this date doesn't make any sense right so what i'm going to do i'm going to filter out where a dot id 
is the is not equal to b dot id and now i'm going to find the difference so i'm going to use date diff function this function is present in sql server so i'm going to use day and then i'm going to pass the dates b dot create created at comma a dot created at and will give the value and its value should lie between 0 between 0 and 7 so let me run this code now you can see that we have only selected uh, user ID available so in order to understand better let me put this in the select clause and let me run now so now you can see uh, we have only those user ID here listed where we have the date difference lies uh, between 0 and 7 but you can see we have a repetitive user id so what i am going to do now i am going to use distinct let's say a dot user id now if i run this here you go you got the result which is expected so this is how we can write SQL qu query using self join to derive this result. So if you have liked my video, please do like it and do comment in the comment section. Thank you and thank thanks for watching.